Yes, what's up guys? So today I wanted to explain a setup I posted in the Telegram channel uh, because this is one of the setups that uh, I really like and this is the basis of, of my trading career. So let's dive into it. Let's go to the hourly time frame. Um, the first thing I see, the first thing that catches my eye is this range. This is an accumulation range. If you're familiar with the work uh, that Wyckoff does, this is a clear accumulation range. I can mark out the faces for you. This would be the selling climax, the AR second test in phase B. And this would be the spring. And as you can see, um, we got a nice breakout to the upside. This is your phase D. But what also is important about this setup is that it took out this important low. And as uh, if you've watched the webinar about liquidity, you know this is quite an important swing point to the market because as you can see, look at the reaction price made from this level. It was an aggressive move to the upside. So there was someone here with a lot of capital that got along. And I want to see if that buyer is still there. And as you can see, price did break this low at the STB area and quickly rejected. This indicates to me that the liquidity below this low has been triggered and been used by this player to, to go long, to accumulate a long position. And then the day afterwards, we got another move to the downside, again breaking the low, taking the liquidity and look at the reaction to the upside. Very, very aggressive. And this is very telling that there is someone with big capital uh, trading to the upside and he has accumulated this long position during this entire range so at the stb he accumulated a lot because there was a lot of liquidity below this low because you have people selling below that low you have to imagine that this these are two equal lows the one at the sc and this one so people will be selling the breakout of this level because they know with the support they will be selling. Also people that are long in this area will have the stops below, which means there is a lot of sell side liquidity. You have people selling actively and you have people selling forced, selling their positions to this low, which means if a big player wants to buy, there is enough liquidity to buy over there. Uh, so that this uh, order doesn't get any slippage. And that's exactly what I noticed over here. And yeah, the icing on the cake is just a clear accumulation pattern and a clear breakout of the range. Uh, if you know my stuff, you know I always enter during phase D. There are some exceptions to this, but that's mainly when I trade gold. But this is phase D of the accumulation, the breakout and the the small ranging action. I want to enter at the red line. I didn't get in yet, but I want to enter at the red line. That's, that's, that's where my buy limit is going to be. Uh, my stop will be at the lower green line. My target will be at the upper green line. So that's almost, yeah, that's a 2.25R. And as you can see on the daily chart, there are some highs over here. And I expect, it, I expect the market to break through these highs. So that's why my target is up there. It also is in line with my statistics about this pair. So that's another confluence factor. So if I look at my statistics, which I have on every pair I trade, I've backtested this over a period of six years. 100 trades, there's a 53% chance of hitting my target before taking out my stop loss. And the payout is 
2.25 hours. So that's quite a decent edge on this setup. And that's how I like it. I want the statistics in my favor. I want the market conditions in my favor. So I want an accumulation pattern. I want to see a big player accumulating a position and I want to join him in the direction he's trading. And that's that's really is my strategy. It's not very complicated, but it's it's based on numbers, basically. It's 90% mechanical, 10% discretion, and that's it. And that's my approach to trading. It's all about accumulation, statistics, and joining the bigger player and patience, because I, I can often hold trades for weeks, and a lot of people wouldn't have the patience, but as long as my trading idea and trading setup is still valid, and as long as the odds are in my favor, I will be holding the trade. There's no reason to cut it. So I hope this gave you a bit more insight in my way of trading. I hope you learned something and I speak to you guys next time.